Hey guys, welcome to another video by That Dentist Guy. Today we are going to be studying about the signs of exophthalmos. The first sign is Dalrymple Rimple sign. In this sign we can observe that in a normal person the eyelids shut the entire eye. But in a person suffering from exophthalmos the sclera has reached the bulbous area. And the second sign is the Nafziga sign. This is the normal condition. When a patient is observed from the back with his head tilted, we cannot observe his eyes popping out of his sockets. But in a patient suffering from exophthalmos due to Graves' disease, the eyeballs are popping out from the uh, sockets. Next, the Mobius sign. In the Mobius sign, we can observe that when asked to converge his eyes, a patient suffering from exophthalmos is not able to do so. Uh, and his eyes remain in the same straight serious classical sign look of exophthalmos. The next sign is Stelwag sign. What we observe is the palpebral fissure is slightly enlarged when compared to a normal patient and he keeps blinking repeatedly. And then the Geoffroy sign. In the Geoffroy sign what we observe is a normal patient when asked to look up to the roof um, generally tends to wrinkle his forehead but a patient suffering from uh, exophthalmos does not wrinkle his forehead while looking up to the roof. The last one is one graphis or lid lag sign. In this sign what we observe is when asked to look up and then look down immediately there is no movement of the lid because it lags um, but after a while the lids get attached back to the normal um, physiological position when looking down. Uh, so these are the signs of exophthalmos. Keep tuned, subscribe, like and support the channel. Cheers.